Hello, it's Renee here, and um, today's a pretty big milestone for me. Um, I have been a resident of Cancerland for 11 years. 11 years ago today, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer, and I want to share with y'all huh, some of the lessons I've learned while being a resident here in Cancerland. And I hope that this shows y'all that there is still life after terrible news and after life altering events. So here are my 20 things that I have learned in Cancerland. One, now is all we have. Seriously, stop living in the past, stop thinking about the future, because when it is all said and done, right now is all you have to work with. Forgive, forgive people. Like seriously guys, you holding on to anger is like you drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die. I love that saying, I don't know where it came from. Say you're sorry. If you mess up, suck it up and say you are sorry and mean it. Tell people how you feel. If you love somebody, tell them you love them. Don't wait for them to tell you. You tell people how you feel. Learn to talk nice to yourself. This is something I have worked on really hard for many years and guys, we are mean to ourselves. And I think one of the most important lessons I have learned here in Cancerland is to learn to be nice to yourself. It makes such a huge difference. Write love letters to yourself and to others. Tell people and tell yourself why you think they're amazing what it is that you admire about them, what it is that makes them unique and an invaluable part of this world. Spread that love, tell people and tell yourself. Don't let expectations of what you thought should be ruin what actually is. I like this example. Um, don't let expectations of, say, a surprise birthday party. You expected your husband to throw you a surprise birthday party, but he didn't. Instead, he made a quiet dinner in. Don't let the expectations of having a surprise birthday party ruin the beautifulness of what is actually happening right there in front of you. Keep track of all of your wins. Even the teeny tiny little wins, keep track of them. Because when you're feeling down and when you're feeling like nothing is going your way, look at this list and look at all of the wins that are on this list. There is always something more to learn. Always, 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 always. There's always something to learn about society, about yourself, about how to help people, about how to brighten the world. There is always something to learn. And for this, I feel like it should be cherished and should be sucked in like the light, like life. It is so precious to be able to learn. Protect your energy. This one is a big one. Um, learn how to feel your energy. If somebody makes you feel down, don't hang around them. If somebody likes to talk trash about others and it messes with your energy, don't hang around them. You are your protector of your energy. And the more you clean up your energy, 
the better off you'll be. Ask, next time you're in an argument with somebody, ask yourself this question. What is more important, being right or being happy? I think being happy is much more important than having silly arguments with people for just the sake of hopefully getting them to say, oh, you're right. To me, the argument's not worth it. I don't care if somebody thinks I'm right or wrong. You know, I'm not gonna argue about things that aren't life-giving forces. Give somebody permission to call you out on your BS. I have a best friend and we've always had this unspoken rule that we get to call each other out on our own BS. And when one of us is throwing a pity party for ourselves or complaining and everything's going wrong, we get to have a free pass and say, hold up, sister, you need to clean it up and you need to take some responsibility for what is happening. Comparison is the thief of joy. I think that one explains itself. Practice looking for what could go right instead of wrong. So many times in life when plans are being made, it's like, oh, well, this could go wrong or this could go wrong or that or that. Guys, stop it. Stop it. Practice looking for what could go right. There are just as many possibilities as what could go right as what could go wrong. Do something every day to better yourself and others. This doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It could take three seconds. It could be a gratitude prayer. It could be smiling at somebody. Do something intentional every day to better yourself and others. Rest. When you need rest, take the rest. Sometimes it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about certain situations. And yeah, it sucks, but sometimes you just gotta suck it up and deal with it. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Listen to your heart. Oh, that heart. It knows the deepest, most profound answers. It's hard to listen to, it's hard to hear, but man, once you figure out how to listen to your heart, life gets good. You are in control of your reactions. Don't blame your crappy behavior on somebody else. You are in control of your actions. End of story. Make friends with your anxiety. It's scary. It's a dark, creepy place. But once you make friends with it, it's a whole lot less scary. And finally, you can do so much more than you give yourself credit for. Each of us has this extra kindling inside of us that is ready to be lit on fire. All it needs is a little love and attention. And I say this because I have found my inner fire many times. And I'm telling you, I have nothing special about me. I have no special juju to find my fire. It is our God-given right in each of us that we have this fire inside. So, um, yeah, I hope I parted some wisdom onto you from these 11 years here in Cancerland, and I would love to hear what you think. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.